Hello, and what's up YouTube? Um, I'm kind of doing this tutorial today because I want to show people that they can actually get their PSP games back working when they think they're rendered uh, unusable. So let's get it. Also, to show my uncle that it is possible because I've tried to explain it to him several times over the phone, and I guess he just doesn't get it on what you know he can do to get all of those games back working okay so my uncle he has a lot of PSP games alright and unfortunately what's been happening is some of them that top piece I know you guys had that before where the the clear piece that says UMD on it has broken and went inside of the case and with the game so if that's spinning inside of there with the game the game will not play alright so um what you can do is just pop out that whole clear piece that says UMD take that whole clear piece off and it's just gonna be the game inside of this white casing leave that in there put your game in and it'll play just like that okay um, you do not have to have this piece on in order to play the game alright second thing if it ever gets to this point these play as well where the game has came out of the clear casing okay now that has happened a lot because you, people just don't take care of them you know stuff happens what you can do is make sure you take and wipe it off with something soft soft casing a soft you know shirt something cotton you're gonna wipe it off because you don't want any fingerprints and stuff just like if it was a DVD or CD or something you put a little where, right where you got it from you take it and open it up on the side just a little crack of it slide it back in there make sure everything in there is lined up like just like it would be you know when you bought it you take it you put it in and it will start back working again UMD, you know, game, the update, you know, that's, I'll show you. It's going to take a minute probably to load up or whatever, but. So, you know, and I'll show you another element of this too as well. Alright, there you go. So, it shows you that doesn't mean just because those games are taken apart or, you know, not in that they don't work. Alright, let me show you something else. Alright. Now, this is the important one here, okay, because he has a lot of games that have gotten to this point, okay? I know that it, it should not be like that. That just means that you really aren't taking care of anything, you know. But, you know, sometimes this can happen, all right? But I'll show you what you do, all right? Now, what we're going to do is the same one, the same matting that I'm going to take it all the way apart and just show you, okay? Now that's that Madden that we were just playing. I just took this centerpiece out. Now, let me tell you something. If you have one of these centerpieces, but it has fell out of one of the other games that you have, any of the other games, but you have one good game that it came out of, you can take this centerpiece and put in any of those games that you would like to play. And as long as you put it in that case, it will work. Okay. Now let me show you. I'm going to put this one back together uh, and put it back in the case. So you'll see that it doesn't matter that that piece has come out. As long as you get that piece back in there, the game will work. Okay. And that's what I wanted to tell my uncle that, you know, those games that he was saying they don't work and he can't get it back to playing and stuff like that that all he has to do is get it back lined up 
Alright, like so. Get it back into this case. Or even if the top is off, just drop it right in the front of it. Drop it right there in the front. Make sure you push it down in there. Even if it doesn't even have the top whole layer, if it's just the bottom piece, this UMD will play as long as it's laying in that case. It has to have something where it can lay equally so the PSP can read it. That's all it's about. It's holding, having it center so that laser can, well, I mean, the UMD can spin and the laser can pick it up. All right. I don't want you guys to think that I'm doing nothing, you know, crazy. So I'm going to do this in front of the camera because some people might say, oh, well, all he did was put in another Madden. You know, and no, I didn't. Okay. Same Madden. Put it in here. All right, keep that there. Okay. Get this open. Put it in. And it's going to read. That's all you have to do. You don't have to throw away all those games that you have and, you know, say that they're not useful. But anyway, I hope I was helpful to any of you guys or to my uncle if you're watching this video. You know, like I said, you know, try it. I'm sure it'll work for you and you'll be able to play all those games that you think that you can't play anymore, that you have in that bag or that you're just not using that you would want to play. Could also save you some money, man. Alright, take care.